Hey traders, welcome back. It's Kenya with BK Trading Academy. Let's hop into a multiple time frame analysis of USD JPY. I'm going to break this pair down and give you my thoughts and where it's headed and just kind of guide you on what to look forward to. And I hope that this analysis will help you. So starting from the monthly time frame right now, price is trading at 149.25 and we are headed for a very strong pivot turning point. Um, on this monthly. So you can see right to the left back in October of 2022, price got as high as 15192. And I personally do feel that price will possibly reach this high. There's a possibility that we might not start seeing a drop right now, that we might see minimal pullback a little bit. And I think we could get a little bit higher. So if you're going to be shorting, you want to be really, really cautious right now because the trend is upward on the monthly, also on the weekly and the daily as well. And what can help you strengthen your technical analysis is really paying attention to fundamentals as well. So you want to always make sure that you're looking at what major U.S. news is ahead. Yen's not really doing too much right now, but I think that they will toward the end of the year. Um, but this month, for example, we just have to monitor what reports are you know, pretty much in the forecast and how that is affecting technical analysis. So right now, Nothing too major to worry about right now, but looking technically at what's going on, we can see that price is reaching this horizontal resistance and where we had a significant swing. So if you were to get short right now, you definitely want to have some confirmation, but you have to understand the risk involved. So price could still go to the upside at least 250 pips. Now, the safer option is to wait for a pullback. OK, so we are in an uptrend. So if you've bought in this uptrend, then kudos to you because you're on the right side of the fence. <laughs> but if we simply look at where the pullback area is, you'll notice that this was our previous resistance slash support. And that is between pretty much 14729 and 14457. That's a really wide gap on on the monthly, right? That's a lot of pips. So you might be saying, well, what should I do with that information? Where, where am I going to consider my entry if I'm, for example, an intraday trader or a swing trader or even a scalper? What should I do, right? So this is a monthly chart. So keep in mind that this is going to take a while for price to even come back if it got to like 144. We just want to look at this to see, be mindful of what price can do right now. So I'm going to just move this zone up, this support zone a little bit upward because I know that, okay, this is a little tip here I'm seeing at 14734. I know that price could possibly come back and retest that area. So now I'm going to move to the weekly. And now you can see on the weekly, I have a little bit more clear price action here and we can go in tighter and see what the price action looks like, right? So I see that I have my swing high here. Another thing that I see is a technical pattern. We have an overextended double bottom pattern. We have a neckline that was retested. So notice here we have a resistance that was broken. Price eventually came back to retest that resistance as support. And then we had a bullish flag pattern and a breakout to the upside and price continued to rise. Now we are approaching a very strong supply area where selling pressure will likely come in, but bulls are not really slowing down right now. So I do feel that the dollar could continue to rise in the short term, but the safest thing is that if we are going to get long, we definitely want to wait for a pullback. And if we're going to get short, we definitely want to see some confirmation. So if we go down to the lower time frame, like the daily, we don't really see much bearish confirmation. Like, yeah, we see this. It's not a bearish engulfing candle. It's not signaling that price is possibly moving lower. We don't see anything like this, for example. We don't see, okay, we consolidated and now we have a sell-off and then we had a massive sell-off, okay? We don't see anything like that where price gave us a pullback or retracement into a previous structure and then continued to drop. We don't see anything like that. So that's why it's gonna be really, really risky because what you're seeing right here is this long shadow and we could just see price price continue to rise. So it's too early to tell right now if price is going to continue to drop. But if we were going to get long in this market, we definitely want to wait for a pullback into structure. So the very first area you want to be looking for is you see where price came to recently, just today, 14859, and then went back up. So this would be the first bounce right here. This would be more of a minor area, in my opinion. So you can see that this was resistance, and this could possibly turn support in the short term. So if you were going to short, for example, I definitely would take profit where price has come to right now today, 14865, that would be a target for me. And then my next target would be somewhere around here where I have this white line drawn at like 14783 because this is a respectable area where price has already come to multiple times. But it's not a very strong swing point in my opinion. I think that the more significant swing area would be somewhere around here. 
and also right within here. So right at this 147.32, that would be a great swing area. And I do have a feeling that price could dip even lower. But if we're measuring from where price is now back into this zone, that's about 223 pips. So in my opinion, that's a nice correction on the daily to consider an area to go long. So this is the first area that I would monitor. So make sure you write that down or put an alert. So right at about somewhere 147.44, I would monitor this area. This would be a great scalp area or even a possible intraday area. And preferably if I were to go long from a weekly perspective, for example, I would want to look more at the weekly because I can just see the swing points more clearly. And in my opinion, I really like this area here. So if I'm swing trading, which I don't know if price is going to get back here in the near future, but I really like this area here for a swing. So you can see right here was resistance turn support. And I would love that if price came back to this area, this is where I would do my next swing. In terms of what I just went over with you previously, that's where I would plan my more short-term trades. But if I were swing trading, I pretty much would have caught the move here, which I actually did. So I'm not really looking for any long-term swing opportunities from the moment because I'm not really interested in shorting unless price probably gets as high as this wick. <laughs> if price gets as high as this wick, I'll definitely be interested in shorting. Um, but but in the meantime, I'm more interested in going long on USDJPY and just keeping it safe. I mean, if I hear any type of change in the yen, then I definitely will be getting short on this pair. So that is pretty much my analysis right now on the dollar yen. You want to wait for a pullback into the zone and just go off of the zones that I actually gave you and you should be okay. If you short, then you know the risk that you're taking on and you know what's involved. So don't cry about it. If you end up losing the trade, you know, anytime you trade against a dominant multi time frame trend that you are increasing your chances for risk. So guys, I hope that you found this helpful. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on USDJPY. Are you short? Are you long? Um, are you taking advantage of this high right now? You think price is going to come down or are you going to wait for the long opportunity? Let me know in the comments because I'm curious to know how you guys are approaching UJ. But whatever you do, trade safe. If you're new here, be sure to click follow on our profile and you'll get these ideas delivered straight to your inbox. Also check out our Telegram below for more great stuff. We have an exciting drop today. So I am looking forward to sharing with you all very soon and we will see you in the next trade idea. Have a great day.